So we have a patient here who's not able to open his mouth. You see this? Oh, this has a maximum you can open the mouth. So it's like less than one centimeter. We call this temporomandibular joint ankylosis. He's got problem with this joint is totally fused. We also having issues with his facial asymmetry. Look how his face is totally inside on this side, on the left side, and this issue with the chin. So we're gonna correct all of this in one go. So what you're seeing is an open, fused, temporomandibular joint ankylotic mass. I'm gonna explain what we see here. This is a zygomatic arch, which is a normal structure. We're not gonna be removing this. What you see here is the ankylotic mass. It's fused above, as you can see with the arch. This is the, should have been the condyle for the patient, but there's no gap, it's totally fused. You can see that. So we're gonna be releasing this part of the ankylotic mass and creating a pseudo joint there now. So we've made a large groove here. We've gone down by 2.5 centimeters and there's still ankylotic bone there. It's there for about six more millimeters as per our scan. So we're gonna go down and once we remove this totally, then you're gonna have this part of the lower jaw, which is the remaining part of the lower jaw. It's gonna move freely as its attachment from the cranial base is gonna be totally detached. So we're raising a temporalis muscle here. You can see me making the incision. Uh, we're doing this as part of the reconstruction post temporomandibular ankylosis release. So this muscle and temporoparietal facial flap that you see as raising is going to be used as part of the pseudo joint the joint that we're going to create that's going to make the patient use the jaw so that's the temporalis muscle and the temporoparietal fascia right at the anterior extent to give that extra little bit of length that's a flap that we raised this is going to be flipped around like this and it's going to go into this defect which is currently having the gauze and this is going to be between the two bones. This is the bone on the scalvarium, and this is the bone of the lower jaw, and this is gonna form the soda joint. So that's the mouth opening that we've achieved with this surgery. And they're gonna show you with the scale. You see that's a little over four centimeters. That's quite a lot, even if you're going to have a 10% decrease over the next few weeks after the surgery, he's still gonna be left with about 3.5 centimeters of mouth opening, which is very good, which is normal. So the temporalis muscle has been raised, we've turned it around inside, and it's been fixed in such a way that it would form the pseudo joint in the future. It will prevent the bone to fuse with the mandible or the remaining part of the mandible ramus to fuse with the skull base.